Hello, hi, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you've never been here before. Today, we're gonna do quick rapid fire book haul because this may be one of my best book hauls that I've ever done because quite possibly one of the best book shopping trips that I've ever done. I went to my library's bookstore and I thought I'd share all the books that I got on that trip. So I'm just gonna go ahead and jump into it. One of the first books that I got was Selected Poems by Emily Dickinson. I'm gonna be completely honest, not too familiar with Emily Dickinson, but I have read a couple poems and this has a couple poems, a couple more. So, and it's super skinny. So maybe I figured I would be able to finish this and, you know, up my book reading and achieve my book reading goal and exceed it. I already hit my book goal and it's only November. So I may as well keep reading. So add that to the list. Next, I got The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Now, I'm gonna be again, completely honest. I already know the twist in this because it's a pretty old book. <laughs> But I will say I did not know that this was written by Robert Stevenson, who also wrote Treasure Island, which I do have. So now I have more by this author. So figured eventually I'm gonna have to get around to him since now I have multiple books by this author. Okay, this one is kind of a mammoth, but I got it kind of out of confusion, but also out of desire. And that is The Complete. Sherlock Holmes. Okay, the title says The Complete Sherlock Holmes, Volume 2. All right, so it's not the complete. I don't know why. Why would you say that then? You know what I mean? But trust me, am I going to read all this soon? Probably not. But there's a lot of short little stories that I can read. And I already do have a Sherlock Holmes collection, but it's smaller than this. So I'm like, there has to be more in this than in the other one that I have. But now I have two. All right, so just to help me solidify my mystery craving that I have been feeling, which will lead us to the next book, which is a book that I have been looking for everywhere. I, <laughs> they never had it at Barnes and Noble. They never had it at this bookstore. They didn't even have it to check out at the library where this bookstore is, right? So I was kind of accepting defeat, but not really. I was getting there, but I was really holding out till I can finally, finally, finally find this book. And today I went and they had it and I peed my pants right there in the store. That is a murder on Orient Express by Agatha Christie. By the time you're watching this, I had just finished and then there were none. Love, 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 loved it. So I only, and I kind of only read and then there were none because my library didn't have murder on Orient Express. And this was the one I wanted to start off with, but I read and then there were none loved it, went to the store, they had it. So this will be the next book that I'm reading. I'm so excited to jump into this because I really like the writing style. It's easy to follow, characters, everything. Oh my God, <gasps> this person has like a full on thing in here. What is this? Okay, Ro needs to check. These people need to check the book before they leave it. This has this person's like full on diagnosis and name from their primary doctor. Um, okay, pictures as well, what? Okay, cause this is the movie cover. Pictures too, maybe that'll help me put like a face to things. Oh well, whatever. I'm so excited to crack into this. So the next one is Hamlet. This isn't the best cover, not gonna lie. But the only other option that they had, they had another Hamlet one that was literally like half the size. It was this big and this thick. And I was like, oh, I know I'm not gonna have a fun time holding that open. Now, I mainly got this because I think I read this back in high school, but I also got this because way back earlier in this year, literally January, I read Hamnet by Maggie O'Farrell and I gave it a five out of five. So good. That book, I mean, I'll probably put it in like a favorites end of the year video, but I highly encourage you to read that book. It is about Hamnet, aka William Shakespeare and his wife's son who passed away and who we ended up writing Hamlet about. So I figured after reading that, may as well read this and I just never got around to it, but now I have a copy so I finally can. All right, next is kind of a newer book and I'm kind of surprised I found this at my library bookstore, but that is The Vanishing Half by Britt Bennett. I've heard nothing but amazing things about this book. I know that this is kind of taken inspiration from a Toni Morrison novel. I'm not sure which one, but I love Toni Morrison. Definitely want to read more of her.
like I said, have heard only amazing things about this. I think this is gonna be just a really good character study and also sibling dynamic because I love reading books about siblings because I have siblings and I think it's very interesting to dissect. So I'm really excited to read this, but I will be reading the Toni Morrison book that this is kind of taking inspiration from first. Okay, lastly is a book that I Mm, I think I had a heart attack when I saw this because I had been searching for this for so long. I knew it was only a matter of time before someone gave up their edition of this book and donated to the library so that I can finally have it. It was a big victory, but only cut in half. And that is because I got, though you cannot see it because the title isn't on there, Don Quixote. Oh my gosh. So I saw this, which just has the author's name, Cervantes. I saw that and I was like, please, oh Lord, let this be Don Quixote. I have been searching for this book for so freaking long. Lo and behold, it is. But I say it's a half victory because this is only the first part of the Don Quixote. Don Quixote, the story, I think this was first published in the 1600s, so it's very old, but it was first originally released as two books. This would be the first one. So I'm still excited to read this. I'm still going to read this. And there are pictures as well throughout this which make that all the more fun and dandy. Are there pictures? There were a couple pictures I saw. Anyways, one picture. But this is also a beautiful copy and like I said, I actually had a heart attack when I saw this. I was so excited. <laughs> I've been searching far and wide. But like I said, it is only the first book. So small victory, but a victory nonetheless. All right, so that was my book haul. One of my most successful book hauls. I cannot wait to start go ahead and reading. What is a book that you guys are searching far and wide high and low for what is a book that you really really want to read but you kind of want to own a copy of because trust me I really have been looking for a copy of Don Quixote because I knew it was going to take my time <laughs> to read that book because it is a thicky and I knew that I wasn't gonna be able to check it out the library and read that within two weeks you know what I'm saying so what is a book that you kind of have that feeling with as well with that said and done I want to give a huge shout out to all of my patrons and especially to AJ, Mark Sylvester, and Edward Fisher. Thank you so much, guys, and make sure to go ahead and check out my Patreon if you haven't already. All right, video was super short, super fast. Like I said, rapid fire, bam, bam, bam. If you have any other book suggestions or what are you reading right now, if you're reading anything, or if you wanna get back into reading but don't know where to start, I can make a video about that. Trust me, I can make a video about that to help everybody get out there and read in again, because reading's fun. So thank you for coming along with me on this journey. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all of that jazz. And as always, thanks for watching.